Before ChatGPT, there was Zork, way before, like 1979. And even though it was just a text adventure, it made people feel like the age of AI had already arrived. But how did it actually work? Zork puts two concepts in play, game state and object properties. Game state is straightforward. You'll keep track of and update the player's current location, inventory, and other stats. This is what determines the kinds of objects and actions that you have access to. Object properties are pretty interesting. Every single thing in the Zork world is considered an object. Locations, characters, items, you name it. And each one of them is associated with a list of different actions that can be performed with or on them. For example, keys can unlock doors. They can also be thrown if that was something that you wanted to do. Now, in the code, every single action-object combo results in a pre-written response. So not only does Zork change the internal game state to reflect what just happened, it also prints this stored response out to the console. The cherry on top is, every single action and object in Zork is also stored with a list of its synonyms to make sure the computer recognizes as wide a range of inputs as possible. If you want to see what this looks like in action, watch the full video linked below and subscribe for more content like this.